Hi everybody, so I'm going to do a video today and it's all about manifestation. Now, a lot of people ask me tips and advice to manifest because I have been manifesting like a boss recently and it's only kind of increasing as the energies are increasing. So it's a lot of us may be feeling like we're manifesting faster and that could be for the good and the bad. So I'm just going to go through some tips, insights and my own personal experience and manifestation and hopefully that helps you on your journey wherever you're at as well. So something I want to uh, kind of cover is that a lot of the time when we're manifesting we may be super focused on the words we're using which is paramount, right? It's very, very important, the words that you use. However, the words are only important because of the feeling that they evoke in you, right? That you can repeat something all day long, but if it's not resonant with your soul, if it's not actually impacting your subconscious mind and actually evoking that feeling, making you feel the way you want to feel by having the thing you want to manifest, then it's counterproductive and actually not really doing much at all. So something that I would definitely advise is not to just use the words that you see others use, but actually experiment and trial and error with words that feel the best to you and to realize that it's not really about the thing, right? It's not the thing. It's not the money or the relationship or the job that you want. It's the feeling that those things bring, right? So what would you feel if you had those things, if you had the money that you're after? You'd feel relief. You'd feel excited. You'd feel calm, right? So then what you have to think about is what are the feelings that you want behind the manifestation that you want and really throw away the manifestation altogether and focus on the feeling because that is what your vibration is. That is what will call it to you. It's not the words. Even though words are extremely powerful, words are spells, your inner monologue is everything. But when you're trying to manifest, it's only about the feeling behind the words so really try and dissect what it is you want to feel and then adjust the words to evoke that in you rather than just using the words and thinking that that will lead you there another tip that i've been working with that is really really useful i really found that it worked like nearly immediately is the technique where you imagine and hear others speaking to you or about you as though your manifestation already occurred so this can be for physical changes, this could be for even getting money, getting a job, like, oh my god, did you hear about Rocio? She is like hella rich now, how did she do that? You know, she's feeling so amazing and doing such great work, her following is crazy, she keeps, you know, increasing and keeps improving, you know, you just kind of like you're hearing a conversation about you and that conversation is all about this manifestation, like it's already happened, right? So another tip, of course, is never to um, affirm in the future but affirm in the present like it's already happened okay or it's happening depending on what feels best I like to do it like it's happening or already happened so another thing I feel that people get a bit caught up in is the how of it all and it's totally understandable you know you have this idea and you want it to occur and you want it to bring it to life but you keep thinking like how how is this going to happen how 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 However, the how is not up to you. You literally don't know how and you're not meant to know how. That's for the universe to take care of. All you have to focus on is the what and the why. So what it is that you're wanting and even more importantly, why it is that you're wanting it. As I mentioned before, the feeling is much more important than the thing. So if you can actually focus on your why, that itself will lead to your manifestation instead of wondering how it's going to happen surrender and let go and let it happen you know it's like you put the directions into the gps of life but then you have to let life take you there you can't be checking in on it every second and wondering how it's going to get you there the resistance in that energy will continue to keep your manifestation at bay rather than bring it to you and i think one of the most important things to really remember when you're manifesting is almost to forget the manifestation altogether which is kind of what I've been saying throughout this video in one way or another. You can know what you want, but then you kind of have to let go and surrender the rest of it. And also that comes to, you don't want to be thinking about it all day, every day, right? Because if you're thinking about it all day, every day, that means that it's not really something that you already have. Because if you already had it, you wouldn't be thinking about it all day, every day. 
could be something you already have you'd be happy and feeling those feelings want to feel so like liberated satisfied fulfilled relieved happy joyous present you know all the things grateful so in Instead of thinking about the thing all the time and focusing on thinking that will bring it there, it's actually the opposite. You do want to set the intention and be clear and you can always have moments of visualizing it. But after your visualization or after the meditation or after the thought, just leave it and completely forget about it. That's the best and fastest way for it to come to you because it's like, I don't even have to think about it. I'm not even bothered because it's here already and that's the energy you need. The only way to get it is to kind of already have it, which is sounds a bit weird, but that's how you get it done. If you're always in the lack and want of it, then you're lacking it. And if you're wanting something, you don't have it. So then you're giving the energy of not having out rather than the energy of, hey, I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, I've got this, which means you've got everything you want, which allows then the universe to give you everything you want. So, yeah, those are my tips for today. I really hope that was an aha moment there for you and if there was i'd love to hear in the comments below what it was and if it's a technique that you've used before or if you want to even tell me one that i've not covered please please put it in the comments and i'll love to know more about it yeah i really hope this was of service to you and your manifestations good luck and lots of love